The home building process has grown to become more expensive with time. Janet Samlian explains how companies are working to combat that through 3D printing. Lawrence Norzad recently bought this new home outside of Austin, Texas with his girlfriend, Angela Hontas. At first glance, it looks like a typical house until you see how it was built. The walls of the structure are a concrete mix layered with a 3D printer. These are really strong, thick walls. We're right next to a bypass and you can't hear anything, so it's very quiet. We're going to walk in through the garage here. Connor Jenkins is the senior project manager for Icon, which built 100 homes in what the company calls the largest 3D printed community. Icon says the process is faster than traditional home building, uses less waste, and requires fewer workers. So where there were maybe five different crews coming in to build a wall system, we now have one crew and one robot delivering that scope. Only the walls are printed. The foundation, roof, and interior are constructed traditionally by home builder Lennar. Given the housing shortage that our country's dealing with, it's never been more important for us to innovate. Several companies are now building 3D printed homes from New York to California. Habitat for Humanity has also used the technology to create housing. Builders say the thick walls can better withstand severe weather and are more energy efficient than typical homes. But this couple is experiencing one problem, Wi-Fi connection. But signal doesn't transfer through these walls very well, so we're still kind of in the hunt for a network situation uh, that, that will work for us. Icon says there are still dozens of homes in the neighborhood for sale, with prices starting at $450,000. Janet Shamley and CBS News, Houston.